Jurassic Park. 29 years later. 1993 versus 2022. Jurassic Park is a 1993 American science fiction action film directed by Steven Spielberg and produced by Kathleen Kennedy and Gerald Molin. It is the first installment in the Jurassic Park franchise and the first film in the Jurassic Park original trilogy and is based on the 1990 novel of the same name by Michael Crichton and a screenplay written by Crichton and David Kep. Filming took place in California and Hawaii from August to November 1992, and post-production rolled until May 1993, supervised by Spielberg in Poland as he filmed Schindler's List. The dinosaurs were created with groundbreaking computer-generated imagery by Industrial Light and Magic ILM and with life-sized animatronic dinosaurs built by Stan Winston's team. To showcase the film's sound design, which included a mixture of various animal noises for the dinosaur roars, Spielberg invested in the creation of DTS, a company specializing in digital surround sound formats. The film is set on the fictional island of Isla Nublar, located off Central America's Pacific coast near Costa Rica. There, wealthy businessman John Hammond and a team of genetic scientists have created a wildlife park of distinct dinosaurs. When industrial sabotage leads to a catastrophic shutdown of the park's power facilities and security precautions, a small group of visitors and Hammond's grandchildren struggle to survive and escape the perilous island. Let's review the characters of the TV series and how the actors who played them are now. Dr. Alan Grant is a paleontologist and the main protagonist in the first novel, as well as the first and third films. Crichton based Grant on paleontologist Jack Horner. Grant's research is partly focused on velociraptors. When the dinosaurs on Isla Nublar escape their enclosures, Grant becomes stranded in the park with Hammond's two grandchildren. Dr. Ellie Sattler is a paleobotanist who, in the novel, is a graduate student studying under Dr. Alan Grant. In the film adaptation, they are a couple, and she has a more prominent role. Sattler is one of Dern's most popular film roles. She is married to Mark, an employee of the U.S. State Department, and they have two young children. Dr. Ian Malcolm is a mathematician who specializes in chaos theory. His character is based on Ivar Eekland and James Gleick. Malcolm's all-black clothing style reflects that of Heinz Otto Pikin, a mathematician who wrote a richly illustrated book on fractals. According to Crichton, Malcolm's character functions as the ironic commentator inside the story who talks about the action as it takes place. John Hammond is the wealthy owner of Jurassic Park and founder of InGen. He is also the grandfather to Lex and Tim Murphy. Hammond is depicted as a kind, jovial and charismatic Scottish capitalist who takes responsibility for his actions, a sympathetic and loving grandfather and leader who means well and tries to keep everyone safe. Robert Muldoon is Jurassic Park's game warden. He is a former professional hunter who worked with Hammond at one of his previous parks in Kenya. He has experience working with dangerous predators and, unlike most other characters, his attitude toward the dinosaurs is realistic and unromantic. He believes that the velociraptors should be destroyed, describing them as smart and potentially dangerous. He also recommended that the park be equipped with more military-grade weapons for use in emergencies, but was overruled. Donald Gennaro is the attorney sent on behalf of Jurassic Park's investors to investigate the safety of the park after several reports of missing or dead workers. In the novel, he is described as a short, muscular man and represents an everyman personality among the characters. Although he is initially worried only about disappointing his supervisors, he soon drops this concern when his life is threatened, focusing on survival instead. Dr. Henry Wu is a character in the first novel and film. He is initially the chief geneticist at Jurassic Park and head of the team that created the dinosaurs. In the novel, he is killed by a velociraptor. He has a greatly reduced role in the film adaptation, but returns in a larger role for the Jurassic World films. Wong believed that his diminished role in the first film was the result of racial exclusion in Hollywood. Tim Murphy is Lex Murphy's brother and John Hammond's grandson. In the novel, he is described as a bespectacled boy of about 11 who has an interest in dinosaurs and computers. 
His quick thinking and encyclopedic knowledge of dinosaurs aid the group several times, and he is instrumental in discovering that dinosaurs have escaped the island, as well as regaining the means to warn the mainland. In Spielberg's film, Tim and Lex's ages are swapped and some aspects of his personality and role in the story are given to Lex. Tim is still the child interested in dinosaurs, but all of his computer knowledge is given to Lex. Alexis, Lex, Murphy is Tim Murphy's sister and John Hammond's granddaughter. In the novel, she is described as seven or eight years old, relatively outgoing, blonde and a sporty young girl who loves baseball. Lex is shown to have the traits of a stereotypical child that often complains. In Spielberg's 1993 film, Lex is the older of the two siblings, aged 12 to 14, and has a personality similar to her brother's from the novel. In the film, Lex has advanced computer skills that help the survivors escape a pack of velociraptors. John Arnold is Jurassic Park's chief engineer, running the main control center from the visitor center. A gifted systems engineer, Arnold had designed weapons for the U.S. military and later worked at several theme parks and zoos before joining the Jurassic Park team. In Spielberg's 1993 film, Arnold is referred to as Ray, rather than John, to distinguish him from John Hammond. Arnold has a smaller role than in the novel but retains the same personality and outlook, often prefacing a risky action with the comment, hold on to your butts. Dennis Nedry is one of the main human antagonists in the novel and film. In the novel, he is described as an obese and messy computer scientist. Nedry works for Hammond as the system's programmer and is in charge of networking Jurassic Park's computers. Although he was not given any details about InGen's operation, Nedry was expected to fix numerous bugs and issues without understanding the ultimate goal. Dr. Harding is Jurassic Park's chief veterinarian. In the novel, he had been the chief of veterinary medicine for the San Diego Zoo and was the world's leading expert on avian care. He accepted the job at Jurassic Park because he wanted to become famous for writing the first textbook on the care of dinosaurs. He makes a brief appearance in the first film with a sick triceratops. Juanito Rastaño was the proprietor of the Mano de Dios Amber Mine in Jurassic Park. Donald Gennaro arrived to speak to him on behalf of InGen's investors concerning the whereabouts of Hammond at a time when InGen was being sued by the family of a worker who'd been killed by a velociraptor. In response to Gennaro's claim that the investors would want an inspection of the park, Rastaño insisted Hammond wouldn't like the idea because Hammond hated inspections. Dr. Lewis Dodgson is the antagonist of both the Jurassic Park novels and the main antagonist in Jurassic World Dominion. In the novels, Dodgson is an ambitious scientist who is unafraid to make aggressive moves, generally considered unethical, to achieve his goals. Dodgson works for the Biosyn Corporation, a company that rivals Hammond's but has a far spottier scientific reputation. Dodgson is described in the novels as more of a salesman than a scientist, and someone who specializes in both reverse engineering and stealing the work of others. Eddie was a member of the dig in the Badlands of Montana. The boy was among the many people who saw the X-ray of a recently excavated velociraptor in June of 1993. He derided the appearance of Velociraptor, calling it nothing more than a six-foot turkey and implying it wouldn't have been very scary. Dr. Alan Grant then scared the boy, suggesting a scenario in which he met a raptor in real life. Mr. DNA is a cartoon character that resembles an anthropomorphic DNA helix with a face and arms. He is the mascot for the theme parks Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. In Jurassic Park, Mr. DNA appears in videos to help visitors understand the processes involved in the creation of the dinosaurs at Jurassic Park, the character itself was created for the film for virtually the same reasons, to provide exposition for the film's audience. That's it for this video. Remember, please, subscribe and like it. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter and share in the comments which TV series or movie you want us to make a video of. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you for watching.